so in my last video we have uh, talked about how to do maven setup for uh, grpc in java and uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, how to define your services uh, by creating grpc protobufs and uh, and also i'm going to show you how to generate java stubs for the protobufs now uh, this is how a typical uh, workflow of grpc server looks like now at the first step uh, we're going to define our uh, grpc profiles and uh, these profiles or the interfaces um, which are human readable and so with this uh, profiles uh, we're going to generate java stubs uh, using maven plugin and um, so these java stubs are just java classes or uh, just abstract classes now uh, with the java stubs um, we're going to implement uh, we're going to extend our java stubs and uh, we're going to implement our services by adding our own business logic so that's how the flow looks like now uh, on the client side our uh, client will have the same uh, java stubs or uh, client stubs now uh, he will communicate to grpc server with the help of that stubs now it need not necessary to be java client it can be a golang client or c++ client c sharp client any client and uh, the respective client will have uh, his own uh, language specific stubs now uh, for testing purpose uh, i like to use an gui client uh, in my case if my client is not ready uh, I can directly launch this GUI client, uh, which is Bloom RPC, and I can directly test my uh, services before implementing my client. So uh, this is the workflow of uh, any GRPC um, service. Now, in this video, first uh, we'll focus on uh, defining proto files, and uh, I'm going to show you how to generate a Java stubs, and the remaining parts uh, we will take up in another video. So now uh, let's go back to our Eclipse and define our first profile. So this is my empty grpc project and uh, if you don't know how to set up this project uh, I have provided link in the description you can check that. Now first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to my resource folder and I'm going to create a profile. So go to general file and uh, name your uh, profile so in my case i'll be creating an user service so i'm going to name my protos as user dot proto so the first thing i'm going to do in my profile is that i'm going to declare my syntax uh, by saying uh, proto3 and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to declare my uh, java package so this is how you define a java package now what happens is that when you run your uh, java stubs it would generate uh, my java stubs uh, inside this particular package uh, instead of just dumping in default package so that's the purpose of uh, defining java package now uh, let's uh, go and define our first service now as i said i'll be defining an user service and this user service will have two APIs. Uh, one is login and logout. So uh, I'm going to define my service as uh, by saying service. And uh, you can name your service as, let's say, user. Now, uh, inside this service, uh, I'm going to define my uh, APIs. So as I said, I'll define two APIs and uh, this is how you define an API. You have to say RPC and uh, your uh, API name. And uh, this is the API name which will be exposed to the client. And uh, the next thing you have to define the input parameters and uh, you have to define your output parameters by saying uh, returns. All right, so this is how uh, you define an API now the thing is that uh, so every uh, request or every input parameters or every output parameters should be wrapped inside an message in a grpc now i'm going to show you how to uh, declare a message so uh, just use keyword message and your um, message name i'm just going to say login request all right so inside this message, I have to um, wrap my input parameters. 
so for login i will accept uh, username and password and uh, you have to use something like equals one so don't worry about what is this equals one uh, so this is just for a grpc internal purposes uh, we don't have to worry about that now uh, the second parameter uh, i'm going to say uh, password All right so that's it that's how you define a uh, request or a response now i will use this request inside my login api now the same thing i'm going to define one uh, generic message for all my responses and uh, finally i'm going to use uh, this api response as my return type that's it now uh, just like that i'm going to create another api uh, for logout now uh, response will be same so my request will be different uh, for logout i don't really have to take any input at all but uh, i can't just leave it like this uh, i have to do as i said every request should go through a, a message so uh, i'm going to declare an empty message like this and i can use this empty message as an input so which means that uh, logout uh, doesn't take any input parameters so that's how you define a service and uh, apis inside um, grpc so this is how a typical uh, proto file looks like now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to show you how to generate uh, java stubs out of these uh, proto files now as you can see in my uh, java uh, package it's uh, currently empty now now uh, i'm going to go to palm.xml now uh, this is what uh, we did in my previous video we have set up a maven plugin and if you are not aware of that uh, please check link in the description uh, as you can see my default goal is already set now i can directly run this form.xml all right just uh, click on run and see what happens so a bunch of stuff going on here and finally uh, the build is successful now if you go to my uh, java package uh, just uh, do a refresh here all right as you can see uh, a package is automatically created uh, by maven now this package name is uh, what we have defined in our profile so com.yrr.grpc so that's what uh, Maven created for us. And uh, finally, we have two classes, uh, user and user gRPC. Now, uh, we don't really have to understand uh, what's inside of this uh, Java classes. So it would be mostly a replica of uh, what we have created uh, here. So it would have an uh, user service class and it would have a message uh, login request class, API response class. So uh, that's it. That's how you define a proto file. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to implement uh, the actual uh, services. And I'm going to show you how to start the server. And I'm going to show you how to test. And thanks for your being, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe us. And if you have any doubts, um, don't forget to use comment section.